Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Today we have a very, very special one for you. A few weeks ago, or more like a month ago, I've been kind of saving this one for you guys. I was down here on beautiful Lake Austin, right in front of Hula Hut, as you guys can see. There's the signature giant bass. But no, that bass right there is not what I caught. A few weeks ago, I was actually fishing with one of my buddies out on his boat. <clears throat> rolled up to this restaurant and uh, this is actually a very very unique spot due to the fact that the dam is right there and at this restaurant it's actually a lot of gravel and relatively shallow water as you guys are gonna see in the clip that I'm about to show you what happens is in the springtime those fish are feeling it and they're getting ready to come up and lay their eggs they roll up from that dam which is really unfishable year-round due to the wires you really can't get to those fish that live at the dam down past those wires but what happens in the springtime like i said when they're feeling it they move up from that deep water and they come to this flat right here to get up get their freak on do their thing i happen to be at the right place at the right time two times in a row and i actually landed two fish of a lifetime me and my buddy on a complete whim decided to roll up to this spot a spot that the vast majority of people overlook due to the popularity of the spot. There's, you know, tons of anglers that come here just because of how recognizable this spot is. But the vast majority of people obviously come here to eat food and drink margaritas and have a good time. Little do they know, every once in a while, those big fish roll up from the deep and park up right here at this flat. As I was saying, my buddy and I rolled up one day, happened to find a really, really giant bass. This one weighed in just at 10 pounds. Weirdly enough, these fish weren't even paired up. They were just very territorial of the area. Rolled up and I threw my jig right on its head and you're about to watch this footage commence. Check this out. If you're on the other side of this, you might be able to. Here, get ready. Get the neck. Hold this. 12 pounder. 12 pounder. 12. 12. Oh my god. One last look at another springtime giant. Holy cow. There's an even bigger one right here. We're gonna get her tomorrow. Let's let her go. That is just an absolute behemoth. Letting her go right where we got her. Boom. A few weeks after that 10 pounder that you just saw, cast the catch that I released right back to where I caught her. And I came up here with my buddy on his big bass boat and I happened to see one of the biggest fish I had seen in forever. I knew this fish could be anywhere from 10 to my PB, which was 13 and a half pounds. I thought it could even top that. Anytime I would run the trolling motor or drop the power poles or lock down on this fish that was just roaming in and out of the docks, it would just spook. It was obviously an old fish and very, very smart. So I took the initiative and decided to come back the next day on a kayak, taking a much more stealthy approach to try and catch this fish because I knew she was gonna be very, very smart. And I rolled up in the middle of the day, scorching hot like it is today. I waited for the sun to come out from the clouds and I saw this fish just parked up and it was one of the biggest fish I have ever seen. And I actually flipped my Berkeley gilly out of all things a great bait in the springtime because those fish are territorial whether they're staging to spawn spawning or off their beds the last thing they want to see is a bluegill in their area so i picked the gilly because i knew this fish was going to be territorial and it would not like a bluegill on its head so i rolled up and i flipped it on its head and just wait and see what happens all righty fellas well as you guys can tell i am not in a boat, I am actually in a Diablo kayak. We got three rods rigged for battle. We got a 
uh, one of those Berkeley like Iconelli bluegill looking things. We got the handcrafted swim bait, which I'm gonna do a video on. But all springtime lures. Uh, there's a very, very large fish over here. And I'm gonna go see if I can't sneak up on her and catch her. But uh, if I do, if you're seeing this footage, that means something crazy happened. Uh, and by crazy, I mean crazy in all caps. So let's see if we can't make it happen. I'm, uh, I'm already shaking just by looking at this fish. So this should be interesting considering it's at the same spot. I caught the last one, that being a restaurant filled with people who are all watching me fish. So hopefully I can put on a show. Let's, uh, let's make it happen. Oh my god, guys, I'm hooked up. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, guys, just came out. Holy cow. Double digit right there, boys. Whoa! Oh my god. Well, guys, there's a look at that monster. How big is that thing? I don't know. She's heavy, but I'm going to hold her in the water, make sure she's good, and we're going to let her go. Look, there's all the people at the restaurant. I am shaking so freaking hard. Look at the mouth. Holy cow. All right, we're going to get a weight because I'm in a digital tournament and uh let her go look at the mouth thanks man all right guys i got a bunch dude there she is we're gonna keep this short and sweet and let her back to where she came from but she weighed 11.55 11 pounds and a half or 11 and a half pounds i can't even speak Congrats, man. thanks my man but um Oh, we're gonna get a weight for this tournament and then let her go back to where she came from. That is just a, such a beautiful fish. I'm so grateful to have actually landed her. You'll see in the footage she came off as soon as I put my hand on her. That was just insane. I don't think anything like that will ever happen again. 11.54. Alrighty. Promo for YouTube and for the online tournament. We're gonna get her back. I'm gonna grab her with this hand. Look at that freaking stud. Dude, what a beautiful fish. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> yeah, one more time. Grant Langmore, Lake Austin. Grant Langmore, Lake Austin. What's the tournament called? Uh, I think it's the Texas Lunker Tournament. Texas, ta Texas Tanker. Texas Tanker. Texas Tanker, Tanker yeah. Tournament, 1154, Lake Austin. <laughs> nice job. Wasn't that insane in the middle of the day with so many people eating, hooting and hollering. Such an epic catch. And the fish that I caught weighed in at 11 and a half pounds. And that fish looked like it had already dumped its eggs, which is insane. That means if that fish was filled up or had a couple extra gizzard chad, it could have easily beat my PB. Regardless, I'm not complaining. An 11 and a half pounder, that's uh, one of the biggest fish I've caught in a long, long time. And not only did I actually somehow land that fish and it threw the hook right at the boat, as you guys saw, I actually got it on film, documented it for you guys. And on top of all that, I was entered in an online tournament. It's called OTF. It's put on by one of my buddies and uh, it's throughout the whole Texas region, completely free. All you have to do is download the app, keep net and enter. And there's tournaments throughout the Texas area and you submit the weight of your fish digitally and I was entered in the Texas Tanker Tournament and actually took home $3,000 from catching that fish, which was absolutely amazing. Obviously, that fish was insurmountable. No amount of money 
uh, could compare to catching that fish, but just the fact that I actually documented it, landed it, I have a tendency of losing fish that size. And won that money, it was absolutely amazing. But I wanted to share this with you guys because this is one of the most epic catches I think I've ever got and off a kayak. And in the middle of the day at this popular restaurant was just amazing. I caught it in the place that I've been fishing since I was a child. Um, this is just a place I've been coming with my parents to eat and I would fish for carp and every once in a while a bass would roll through never of that size but to have caught that bass right here in the spot in the middle of Austin was just freaking amazing. A video coming out soon is going to be of my new boat. I have purchased a new boat from John B. Shout out to you, brother. He gave me a sweet deal on one of his old rigs. But if you guys wanna come out with me and learn about big swim baits, conventional, whatever you guys wanna learn, you can message me. I'll put my email in the link and you can actually hop out on my rig. Full-time guide here in Austin and we can go out and chase monster fish like that. So leave a comment down below or go to my Instagram and uh, shoot me a message and I'll get you out on my boat and we can go target some absolute monsters. Side note, every once in a while, you gotta remember who got you started in the fishing and why do you love it as much as you do this day. Leave a comment below and let me know who got you into fishing. For me, it was my grandpa. Watch my videos, Papa, and I wanna just give you a thanks. Without you showing me how to fish years and years ago, I'd never be able to sit here and make this video and actually pursue fishing full time. Um, so I really, really appreciate you watching all my videos, Papa. Guys, for slacking on the posting of videos, but I've been really busy guiding and traveling and doing other stuff, but I need to keep them rolling. And uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys thought of this one. I thought it was pretty epic and obviously I enjoyed making it for you guys because it showcased two of my biggest bass this spring. All in all, I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. If you aren't already, please subscribe and I will catch you guys very, very soon. Hopefully, I'll get another double digit to show you guys. I appreciate it. Tight lines, everyone. See y'all soon. Peace.